The Clower Valley Heritage Trail is well worth following, and I'm starting it here in Ochlacloy with its historic churches. I'm here at a place called Loch Mammy. I mean, look at that for a view. Jack Johnson, how are you? Now, you are an historian. Now, could you tell me a wee bit about this particular place? Well, th this is the highest point in the valley, uh, and it's also probably the oldest uh, monument we have. It's a very important site, and of course you've got this wonderful panorama. And how many counties can you see from this vista? Well, we're told you can see seven altogether. Uh, our Mark Cathedral is down there. Uh, you can see Fermanagh Lakes on a good clear day. Uh, you can see the County Louth. Uh, you can see parts of County Derry. It's, it's a site that's not to be missed. Really. Not to be missed not at all. Missed. And of course, we are standing on, on top of a tomb that is 3,000 years of age. Yes, it's three, possibly four, possibly more. And, and there is uh, some literature about Queen Anya uh, being buried here in the second century AD. Now Jack, this is our second stop on the Clougher Valley Trail and you've taken me to a place that you say is a, has great resonance as a, both a pre-Christian and a Christian site. Could you tell me a wee bit about where we are at the moment? Well that's true because this is Rathmore, this is the hill fort uh, and it was occupied from the late Bronze Age but more heavily we think in the Iron Age when the, the old king of Clougher, King Yohu, uh, ruled from here. And of course this area has always played a great part in the ecclesiastical history of the County Tyrone. Yes, that's true because it's been a Christian site since the 5th century and the cathedral here is probably the 5th building more or less on the same site. And that's St McCartan's Cathedral? That's St McCartan's Cathedral. The present building is about 1744. This is Blessingbourne Estate. Um, it has been in the Montgomery family for about 300 years. Uh, the present owners are Lowry's. There was a cottage here from about 1810, but the present house is 1874, designed by an English architect, uh, Pepys Cockrell, in the high Victorian style. Uh, and of course, uh, catering accommodation for the visitor. Yes, they, they, they provide a lot of accommodation for visitors, uh, for fishing and I think shooting as well. So it's, it's very much on the tourist trail. Yeah, and I can think of, of no better place to stay if you're in this area. I mean, it is so tranquil and the, the lake is beautiful. The house itself, the grounds are spectacular. Yes. Well, I am so glad that you took me here. And <laughs> Jack, thanks a million for taking me around the wonders of the Pahar Valley. Well, I'm always delighted to show the valley to anyone.